Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. I apologize for if you can hear any noise outside, someone doing their streaming. Um, I'm not going to be at home this week, so I'm going to have limited access to my computer. So I'm going to do another reaction. Um, in this reaction, it's the uh, bus driver decides to slam on the brakes to teach kids a lesson. So this could be interesting. So uh, before we get into the video, please do give the video a like, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified each and every time I upload. It's completely free to do. And if you decide it's not for you in the future, you can always un unsubscribe. Um, also, leave a comment below um, any videos that you'd like to see me react to. Um, I'm gonna, I'm back to work on Wednesday, I think, Thursday. Wednesday and uh, so I'll be going back to my vlog style um, but like I say I'm not going to be here at home and have access to my computer for another couple of weeks so um, yeah another couple of reactions so that all being said let's get into the video you guys need to be in your seat. On March 1st, at least 30 Castle Rock Elementary School students were riding the bus home. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? Okay, so... Um, yes, kids can be annoying. I try to stay away from school buses myself if I can. Um, but I don't think they're being really dangerous. They're all sat down. They're not running around. And either way, hitting the brakes, you're going to hurt someone. So let's see how this goes. That, that's why you need to be in your seat. Turn around and sit down properly. <laughs> You guys can't do that. You will get written up. You get that? The students, ranging from kindergarten to sixth grade, were confused and startled from the jolt at just nine. Um, to be fair, though, he wasn't going at any sort of speed. So, um, you know, but even so, he shouldn't do it. And they're really young kids as well. Um, I think uh, kindergarten is like nursery in, in America, isn't it? Kindergarten the same as nursery in the UK? don't know. Leave it in the comments below. But, um, yeah, five, six, seven, eight years old, you can't do that. And to be fair, surely they should have a teacher on the bus, shouldn't they? Just say maybe that wouldn't have come about if they had in miles per hour this little girl on the back of the bus picked up her phone what was that how how quick just nine miles per hour nine miles this little girl on the back of the bus picked up her phone So one of them did get hurt, one of them bleeding. So even if it's a, a little cut, um, you know, he's, he's caused injury. So, yeah, what was he thinking? When the driver dropped her off at the stop, she started crying. The driver closed the door and started to pull away before opening the door to speak to the adult that picked her up. Is she okay? Is she all right? During the driver's explanation, the kid sitting in the back piped up to listen to the exchange. They were running all over the place. What? They, they have to sit in their seat. We they would not get bounced around if they didn't stay in their seat. 
we were. So I'm sorry if she got hurt, but there was 60 kids on here bouncing all over the place, and I'm a substitute driver, and the driver that normally doesn't does not have any control on these kids. So I was trying to get them to, to get in their seat. I had them on the microphone. I said they need to be in their seat. I was coming to a stop, and I hit the brake hard because they weren't. They were not listening. Mate, you're an idiot. So not only have you endangered a load of little kids, you've injured one of them, and you admit to doing it to, I'm assuming, the teacher. I'm assuming you're going to be out of a job. So I'm sorry if she got hurt. She wasn't the only student who told a parent they were hurt that day. My son came tearing through the door that afternoon. He sprinted all the way home. He was out of breath and red-faced and absolutely sobbing and shaking. Um, he was terrified. When Lauren Thompson helped her fourth grade son calm down, he told her what happened on the bus. She immediately called the district's transportation office, asking them to pull the video. He had slammed his head into the so, yes, I'm a bus driver. Yes, I get the frustrations um, of being a bus driver. Um, and like I say, I don't do school buses, so I try and stay away from them. Um, but I'm also a father. And if one of my kids come home having been injured because of this, I would be absolutely fuming and you can bet your bottom dollar that driver would no longer be a bus driver because I would go after his job. The, um, the seat back in front of him, another buddy had slammed his head into the window um, so his neck and his head were hurting. Lauren was especially concerned because her son was still recovering from a concussion after slipping on ice a few weeks before. In those moments when he's telling you this, how do you feel? Scared to death that somebody hurt my kid. Um, you know, I, I know not all the kids on the bus had a concussion, but instantly I'm like, okay, do we need to go to the, uh, the ER? What's happening? Um, who is this person? This is not their regular bus driver. That person, that driver, is 61-year-old Brian Fitzgerald. He was hired as a bus driver by Douglas County School District in October. Internal school records reviewed by 13 investigates reveal Fitzgerald had just finished up class less than a week before and was, quote, only half driving by himself and is not experienced in dealing with difficult students. In the days prior to the incident, he had been driving special education students. This was his first time driving a general education bus. All right, so, okay, it's his first time driving a normal school bus, but his previous job was essentially driving bus with children with special needs. And they can be unruly as well, even more so, in fact. So maybe they, they have um, like carers or teachers on the bus and this one doesn't. Um, either way, whether it's your first time or not, you know, you, you know the slamming on the brakes, you're running the risk of injuring someone. and you don't do it unless it's an absolute emergency. And that isn't kids messing around. The evening of the incident on the bus, Fitzgerald wrote this letter to supervisors, which 13 investigates obtained from his employee file. He expressed concerns about what he described as a historical pattern of improper student management on the bus he was driving that day. Fitzgerald wrote that he told the children on the bus to sit down four times before hitting the brakes while rolling to a stop sign. Yeah, OK, you told them to sit down four times and they didn't. And yes, more than likely, children that age, there should be a supervisor or a teacher on the bus. Um, it is a bit much for the driver to deal with. He's having to contend with the road and all of that while he's got little kids messing around behind. And to be fair, you've got emergency exits uh, and so on. But you can't just slam on the brakes to teach them a lesson. You can't. You can't injure them. 
He ended the letter saying he was sincerely sorry for his actions, adding, being a new driver, I did not make the best decision. And if I were able to redo what I did, I would rethink my decisions. Okay, Fitzgerald called himself an old school guy during an interview with the district. He was pulled from driving all school buses in Douglas County the day after the incident. The I'm not being funny, but okay, he's been pulled from, he's apologized, um, which, you know, so he should. Um, he's been pulled from driving all school buses. But I can say with pretty, you know, with confidence that if it was in this country, he wouldn't be driving buses anymore at all. You know, he'd it, it get sacked for that without any shadow of a doubt. The district then sent the information to the Castle Rock Police Department and fired Fitzgerald. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? Uh, so they, they did fire him. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if he, he was getting prosecuted because we do, like, obviously, I don't know in America, but certainly in the UK, there are laws um, that we are governed by. And at the top of those laws is all about safety, not just safety of other road users, but safety of the passengers. And if you do something like this, you, you're up Shit's Creek. We take for granted inside the school is safe. We trust they've all been vetted and are safe. And I hate that we can't believe that, but we can't. Now, Lauren is preparing for her son to testify if the criminal case against Fitzgerald goes to trial. A spokesperson for the Douglas County School District tells 13 Investigates, riding a bus to and from school should be a happy, enjoyable experience for students. The behavior and actions of this bus driver are completely unacceptable. We are so grateful to the parents and the principal who reported this incident, allowing us to take swift action and ensure this driver was never again allowed behind the wheel of a DCSD bus. Watch. Okay, so that isn't surprising that he got sacked um it's surprising that he did it new or not you know you can't cause injury to your passengers um deliberately so yeah uh, leave a comment below let me know what you think of this story i'm flabbergasted really All right so uh i'm gonna leave this video here thank you very much for watching please do hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you again next time.